Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, y'all. I just want to thank y'all so much for letting me know about two other pieces of evidence in places yes. I've already been, the Red Mile and Hope Tech. So before I forget to do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to those two places. And then we're on to the next mission. This is very much like no stone unturned. I have to go to the Red Mile and I have to go back to Hope Tech. I don't remember what system any of that is in. <laughs> oh wait, I think that Hope Tech is here. Yeah, let's go over here. Is it? The clinic, star station. No, I'm wrong, y'all. I feel like it's this planet. Oh yeah, here we go, Hope Town. Okay, well I found one of them. <laughs> All right, and I have to go in that little building next to Hope Tech. The one with Smugglers the- Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. That's right, buddy. I wonder how the company feels about that. <laughs> Hello? Who was that? I don't know who said that, y'all, but that person needs to talk to me. Okay. I think it's this building, Pit Stop. All right. Let's go look for an evidence slate, y'all. Okay, let's see. All right, Andraja, keep your eyes peeled for a slate. Could be upstairs, too. Search downstairs first. Ooh, we can play pool. Look at that, buddy. Ooh, okay. Hope Town Raid evidence. All right. Nava went for it. So the plan's a go. The Crimson Fleet is gonna do a quick smash and grab on Hope Town. To get started, I need a layout of the settlement. Don't leave anything out. I want every guard patrol, junction box, mark down everything. When it's go time, I'm gonna need some kind of distraction. Maybe set off a mining charge or something. You know, keep security busy. Mm. You'll have at least a week's notice before we send in our ships, so that should give you plenty of time to get ready. All right, you wanted to be part of the fleet. This could be your ticket. Just don't screw it all up. Don't screw it all up, buddy. All right, so we have more proof. Now I have to find the Red Mile. All right, let's see what system that one was in. I feel like if I saw the name of the system, I would recognize it. it. Wasn't the wolf system. It had a longer name. No, it's always so difficult to find places. Oh, here it is. There we go. It was this planet. Yep, Red Mile. There we go. Sorry, y'all, that took longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> I couldn't remember where anything was. Lord. All right, here we go. You can't keep avoiding me. Come on, let's have a little chat. Hello? Who is talking to me? Hey. Mysterious tracker. Hey, buddy. I'm glad I finally caught up with you. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. What kind of proposal? <laughs> proposal? No thanks, I'm happily married. What? Oh. Got it. You're trying to make a joke. Trying? Emphasis is on trying. Yes, oh. it's a proposal. No, not that kind of proposal. Okay. The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. Okay. There you'll meet with agent number one. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. Uh... I'll consider it, and if I show up, You'll have your answer. I suppose we will. <laughs> I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to agent number one. I'm hearing ya. Well, even though the quest is bugged with Andraja's marriage, I'm glad the game still recognizes in dialogue that we're married. <laughs> Lord. Hey, buddy. I'm invited. Not really. But you're going to let me in. All right. Let's go. I know the purpose of these airlocks, but I hate waiting. It's immersive, but I don't like waiting. <laughs> All right, wait. Can you believe that? Like I'm going to run off without paying. The hell kind of scum do they think I am? Buddy, you still haven't paid? You've been sitting here since the free, <laughs> since the free Star Rangers quest. Oh my lord. 
He still has not paid, y'all. I wonder if I have to get in here. Alright, if I do, I'll do that later. Alright. Let me be clear. You start something. Ooh. Every one of us in here will make sure to end it. Oh, okay, chill out, buddy. Hey. hey, buddy. Out of order. Oh, that's too bad. I hear you one of the runners to watch. Oh, chunks heist evidence. Chunks, a full assortment, fresh from the factory, nothing but the best. So you want to clip to pick up the tab on? How many is it? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen boxes of food. Ooh. No, 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 this ain't food, man. This is survival. For deep space hops, this stuff never goes bad, and it's cheap. Chunks never goes bad. <laughs> Look, how about you buy half the shipment, try it out, pass it around. The stuff will catch on fast. Ecliptic will love it. Trust me. Oh, you run back to the key and tell those cows to blow this food out of his airlock. We aren't buying. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Three boxes. Heck, I'll throw in the fourth for free. Huh? You can't beat that deal, right? Pleasure doing business with you, Tombs. <laughs> Tombs and Magnus. Those are really cool names. Alright, y'all. Now it's time to go. See, I probably have to leave this area, huh? I'm, in charge of security here. I'm hearing you, stalker. I'm not even talking to you, buddy. Oh, wait, I don't think I have to leave because I don't have to go through a load screen. The best there is. What is this reclaim in the past? Oh, I got to return to Boggs. Okay, I'll do that soon. I have to meet Neva and Jasmine. Oh, wait, I, I didn't do that already? Shoot, I got to return to the key anyway. Might as well go talk to Boggs. I didn't finish doing what I had to do over at the key. Hey, look, not my fault. Okay. All right, let me dock, buddy. I didn't even realize I didn't finish what I had to do up here. I thought I always, ta I thought I already talked to them. Seals are tight. We're docked. Thanks, buddy. All right. Well, I'll go talk to Bog first, then finish Every up his I quest. See Ramsey smile, I want to punch him in the face. I'm hearing you, buddy. <laughs> Who's Radley? <laughs> I don't know everybody yet. <laughs> I'd like to meet Magnus. All right, hold on, y'all. I'm just gonna head have to the ball. Security on the key. We're always looking out for traitors. Okay, I'm hearing you. <laughs> I don't love that. About my last job. On the one hand, the don't look at me. I'm no traitor. <laughs> All right. Bog, hey, buddy. Where are you? <laughs> Stop calling me a rook. I've done too much what for this place. From jazz or weapons from oh, wait, where is he? Hey, buddy. Ah, look who's back. Mm-hmm. So, you got something for me? I do. I got your ring. Clay's not around anymore to miss it. Oh. And I hope that bastard went straight to hell where he belongs. I'm hearing you. Oh, here's your credit. I think it's time for a drink myself. Okay, buddy. Thanks to you. I'll be spending the rest of these days in peace. Ooh, 4,500. Nice. Thank you, buddy. Reclaiming the past. Start something? Cause I'll finish it. Buddy, chill. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Okay. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? Yeah. We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimison. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Okay. All right, Rook. 
Next stop, New Atlantis. I'm hearing you. Your connection is Juan Dayu. Juan She's Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Okay. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. <laughs> okay. She would be wise to do the same. Ooh. Uh, should I expect any trouble? You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. <laughs> as far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Premium smuggling routes? Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like in SY920's case, military outposts. I'm hearing you. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know how she accomplished that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. I'm hearing you. Sounds like she'll be useful then. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. I am hearing you. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. Okay. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. I'm hearing you. Oh, I can use my engineering expertise again. I shouldn't need anything except the prototype's primary logic mo modile. modile. Hmm. Interesting. Well, don't take any chances. Okay. Nave is right. Just grab everything labeled comm spike that isn't nailed down. I'm hearing you. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? SY920 is a UC military installation. Yeah, I know. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal because you're going to need it. Okay, buddy. So, you don't care if I shoot my way through the place then? Are you kidding? The UC's already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep way in his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? <laughs> Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. I'm hearing ya. Commander Akande already told me that this was, uh, the UC had the comm spike. How will Juan get me inside the station? She's got the clout to get you in the front door. Okay. You're gonna think you're part of a regular supply delivery. Ah. Beyond that. You and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. I'm hearing ya. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the well? In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. Ooh. And you, get the hell out of here. And okay. don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. I can't come back? If one asks why we need the comm spike, what do I tell her? I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. Okay. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. Okay. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. What can you tell me about Juan? The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space. And her name kept popping up repeatedly, so I decided to put her to the test. Not only did she pass, but the results were off the charts. Ooh. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond that, I don't know much about her. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. I'm hearing ya. We'll talk later. Okay. Bye, y'all. All right, let's go. All right, so I've got to go to the well in Jameson. Not too bad. Can I go from here? 
I gotta meet Juan. It takes Juan to know Juan. <laughs> I thought I'd been everywhere in Jameson, but I guess not. Where is that nav point headed? Wait. Oh, it's not underwater, is it? Come on, Andraja. <sighs> this is gonna suck if it's underwater. I'm not gonna go. Oh wait, it's bringing me to the to the transit. Okay. The well. Okay. The well. I've not discovered that location yet, so I can't fast travel to it. I haven't even discovered the locations around it. I haven't discovered the transit station. Lies and deceit. Okay, I gotta get to the well. Woo! Woo! Ah! Alright. Oh, whoa! Went to run. <laughs> what do you mean discovered? I've been knowing about this. Wait. Hold on. The nav point's over here. Oh, the well. Discovered. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Look at the- How did I not know about this? They are coming. Who's coming? Look at this, y'all. It's like a whole sewer place under- It's like a whole, uh- a bunch of shops in the sewers. <laughs> I'm having trouble describing it. There's a med bay and oh my lord, okay. Hey buddies, I didn't know this was all down here. K's, oh they have a restaurant. I don't know if I would want to eat right next to a sewer, but it's, <laughs> wait, whoever it is is above me. Look at this, this is cool. Very nice. I tell you what, Starfield is a lot of empty, but the places that they have fleshed out are really awesome. Let's see. Oh, wait. That's my- that's Juan. My contact. Hey, buddy. Excuse me, Goofy. Hello. I take it your name is new recruit? I am. Oh, uh... Concealment. Now I'm wondering how much she told you. That you're new, but capable. Okay. Other than that, not a whole lot. <laughs> Neva talks a lot, but that's not the same as talking too much. I'm hearing you. Yeah, you're still a mystery to me. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. I'm hearing you. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. I am. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Uh, okay. I too have conditions. My assistant will provide you with a list. Huh. Neva warned me you were difficult. Difficult. Maybe I didn't understand what she meant, but I do now. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make oh. no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Your ship. Do not mistake us for amateurs. We will get the job done without sacrificing your route. I appreciate the confidence. I just want to remind you, this job calls for more discretion than your usual swashbuckling adventures. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. Okay. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Oh, well that sucks. How much do you know about this job? Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920, get you out if I can. That okay. being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So, it's up to you. I would like a better guide. Delgado wants the comm spike, a signal decryption device. Interesting. When we get to the station, I'll see if I can pull any information on its whereabouts. Thank you. Hopefully, that'll make for a smoother trip. I hope so. 
What else do you know about the comm spike? Less than you. And even if I did, I'm a smuggler, not a scientist. I'm but hearing you. if Delgado's after it, then I have a feeling there's a pile of credits waiting at the end of this job. So we better do it right. I'm hearing you. How often do you dock at this station? Enough to be on a first-name basis with the Marines working the comps. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. I can see that. I like to know who I'm working with. Can you tell me about yourself? I like to, but I need to keep a low profile. Oh. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. That's true. But you've got to have somebody you can trust. Famous last words. But you do this job right, and who knows what the future holds. Anyways, I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. Okay. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. I am hearing ya. We'll talk more on the ship. Okay. All right, is there a slate around you by any chance of evidence? What about that? Oh, it's just a folder. Okay, let's check over here. What is this? Oh, it's locked. Requires a key. I don't have that key. It's Kay's apartment. All right, this is just another balcony. Oh, there are the stairs. You found them, Andraja. All right. Okay. Let me check over here. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. <laughs> Thanks, you buddy. In whenever you'd like. <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Ooh, look at this. Can I have the shepherd's pie? Looks good. All right. A meal tray. Wait, is this free to take? No. Andraja, you're in the way, buddy. I can't pass. All right. Oh, right here. So, when did you stop flying the Swan, anyway? When the cargo became more valuable than the ship. True. The fleet's got us real busy these days, and we are making good money smuggling all this contraband. But if any time was the right time for a break... Hey, there's still work to do. I need to check with my contacts at the spaceport and find out what guards are on rotation when we leave port. Then it's back to the key to make sure Delgado gets his cut, and to make sure he hasn't cut us out. I worry sometimes that being in New Atlantis, we're missing out on the big scores. I know that old dog has something big planned. I can feel it. Sheesh, that is a lot to think about. And here I thought the pirate life was carefree. Maybe for some people, but that's not how I work. Well, you feel free to plan our next moves from now to the new year. I'm all about living in the present and being where your feet are. That's fine. Just make sure to wipe those feet before boarding my ship. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, that implicates Juan. Oh, Everyone's Lord, Andraja. All oh, right, I understand. I gotta meet her on the swan, the Jade Swan. And once I'm on the ship, I can't get off the ship until the mission is done. Which kind of sucks. I want to take my own ship, but they said that it was going to be real dangerous. I sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you, buddy. I wonder, I wonder why his day's going so well. Wait. Uh, here? I gotta board the swan. That's my ship. Where's the swan? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. It's close. It's right there. Oh, it's a big ship. Look at that. Oh, can I take this? Nice. All systems are nominal. We are ready to depart. I'm hearing you, buddy. 
Juan, where are you, buddy? Oh, Lord. It's a nice ship. I like your ship, buddy. Oh, Lord. Where'd you go? Juan? I love the windows, too. Beautiful. Oh, a little storage room. Cute. Alright, looks like she's on an upper level of the ship. How do I get up there, though? The ladder doesn't go all the way up to the top. I didn't even know that was a door. Hey, buddy. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. I'm hearing ya. Hello. Glad hey, you buddy. The fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. <laughs> okay, buddy, chill. I thought we were all friends here. Oh, another cargo hold. Where's Juan? Okay. Hello. Ooh, I'll take your credits. Goodness, I keep running into windows thinking that they're doors. Wow, the ship is massive. Oh wait, I see a ladder going up. Buddy! The ship is a bit of a maze. Hey, <clears throat> finally found you. Alright, a few things to note. Mm -hmm. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Okay. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. <laughs> okay. I'll be as silent as a crate of tissues. Good. Say nothing and let their minds fill in the gaps. Okay. Arguably a good philosophy for more <laughs> than just this mission. I'd say so. That was a close-up. There are times up. when you have to put on a show, but that's more for new clients. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. I'm here, Anya. I'm ready. Let's go. Pardon? All right. Then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. Andraja, where We're are you? I saw you with that close-up. Where's Andraja? Excuse me. Hey, buddy. Ooh. We'll graph jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. Okay, good. If you take this time to prepare, just try Ooh. not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't uh, worry, I'm here, Anya. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Oh, wow. I've never been the passenger before. Oh, Lord. It's creepy. Lo <laughs> Looking at a huge planet inside of a void is so creepy. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you oh, will goodness. be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Cargo class ship ID UC-7938, yes. requesting Ooh. permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay. I think the reason why I'm discovering locations I've already discovered is because they changed something, like maybe an update to the map. I must have missed... I must have missed the notification. All right. Oh my lord! Look at that, y'all. Yes. What? All right, buddy. Okay, we're in. First things okay, first. Good. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. I'm hearing you. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform, and to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can okay. make contact. 
Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Wait, you're gonna strand me here? Tell me about these security checkpoints. Only military personnel are allowed out of the cargo area. Okay. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. What about the vents? This is a star station, so there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. Hmm. As far I've as done tactics that before. go, it's an oldie, but goodie. Right. What if I get stuck? Is there any way to reach you? Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah. Like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. Okay. Don't worry, they won't suspect a thing. I would hope not. But if they do, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Howdy. Okay. Howdy, buddy. All right, so I have to board. <clears throat> Hopefully not screw this up. Oh goodness, now I have to figure out how to get off this ship. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Hey, buddy. Didn't notice you down here before. Oh lord, I think I went one level too far. Too far down. I don't even know what this comm spike looks like. Which I guess is fine, because I have a nav point. All right. Now that we are here, what will be our next course of action? Uh, we have to gain access to the barracks, buddy, and we have to find ourselves uniforms. Hey, buddies. You with the Jade Swan? Yes. Loading and unloading only. Okay. Stay clear of the military barracks. Okay. We need a lot of cargo to keep a station this size running. Oh, wow. Look at this station, y'all. It's humongous. Oops. I'm, oh, sorry about that. Woo. Can I loot the place? Ow. Y'all got a lot of gravity in here. Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Oh, I'm hearing you, buddy. Uh... I left it on the ship. I'll be yeah, right back. You do that. I don't know if the persuasion would have worked. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Okay, let's go down, Andraja. Here we go. Woo! This is Captain Juan Dayu. Hey, buddy. I'm in the cargo bay. Just checking and in. You found the intercom. Yeah. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. Okay. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I'm hearing ya. Uh... Is there any way I can get a key? Try eavesdropping on a few soldiers. Maybe one of them will mention a key. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anyway, Thanks, the buddy. door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. I'm the hearing you. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. I'm hearing you. All right. Advance. I could probably get in here. All right. I don't think I need any key, y'all. I think I can get in. All right. This is not going to work here or here. So this one's out. The second one is completely out, I think. Yeah, the second one's completely out. This one won't work at the first one at all, or the second one, so the third one's completely out. All right, this one's not gonna work on the first one, but it could work on the second one. All right, that one works right there. We need a twofer. Okay, it's gotta be this one. There we go. All right, now this one. Okay, that one works there. It's gotta be this one, y'all. 
There we go. Alright, we're in. Gotta find a uniform. Come on, Andraja. Oh, Lord. Oh! Is that a heat leash? Wait. Okay, I gotta go through the vents. Alright. Come on, Andraja. Let's go, buddy. Why do I have so many nav points? There's one in here. I can't get in here though. Vent is locked with an expert lock and I don't think I can get into expert locks. Wait, what are all these nav points? I only have one thing I gotta do, which is find a uniform. can open this vent. Wait, there's a uniform over there? That looks like somebody's in the bathroom. Are they certain? Oh lord. Oh lord, y'all. They sure there ain't just one in the bathroom? Okay, come on, buddy. Okay, looks clear. <gasps> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Who saw me? <gasps> oh, Lord. Andraja. Open that door for me, buddy. Oh, man. Okay, it's in that room. Come on, open. Oh, thank goodness. All right, that's how I got it. All right. Yes, yeah, deal. I suppose that is ours now. Right, buddy. Completely ours. Let's put it on. There we go. And? All right, I I don't think I gotta sneak anymore, but just in case. All right, a reminder to all personnel that the projects being developed at this station are highly classified and involve extremely sensitive information. As a loyal citizen of the United Colonies and a member of the UC Navy, you are being entrusted not to share this knowledge with any outside party, including your families. Any disclosure of these activities, projects, or data on this station will result in immediate dismissal and court martial. For those in the cargo bay, a extra reminder that only uniformed personnel are allowed in the mess hall and the barracks. I've heard instances of contractors being allowed in the dining area and it is strictly forbidden. All right. What about rules of engagement? Win. Yeah, I have your stuff. But after what you did and who you did it with, I don't want to see you ever again. If I'm in the mess hall, you need to be in your bunk. If I'm in the cargo bay, you need to be in your bunk. If I'm anywhere in the settled systems outside my personal quarters, then you need to be in your bunk. <laughs> in fact, the only time you're allowed to leave your bunk, as far as I'm concerned, is when I'm in mine. Because if I so much as see your face again, I'm going to discharge my firearm right into your teeth. Oh my lord. Wait, who said that? From Leanna. Oh lord. Okay. When Alas Alaska? When Alaska? 1.9 meters tall, 95 kilograms in weight, Jemison, Ensign, Bio. Matriculated to the, Sword, to the Sword Military Academy after being recruited at a job fair. Received accommodations for marksmanship and physical fitness. Assigned to the SY920 after graduation. Wind must be a piece of work, huh? Okay, there's a lot of stuff to take. Now that I'm in uniform, I can take whatever. For sure. Can't get into that computer. Open up. Thank you. All 
All right, now I can go out the hall. Detected. Oh, but it's fine because I'm in uniform. Nice. Wow, now that I'm in uniform, I can take everything. Let me see if the cred stick that was to steal... Oh, it's not here anymore. I must have taken it. <laughs> I forgot I took it. I thought maybe it wouldn't be for Cecile anymore. I wanted to test that. Hey, buddy. I'm allowed here, right? Yeah. Calipers. Oh, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. About the other night. Win Alaska. Hukia, the other day when you invited me to the security checkpoint to for some hand-to-hand -hand combat training, I was not myself. In fact, I took a blood alcohol test at the time. I think I could have uh, actually proven this legally. As it stands, I cannot. I don't even remember the thing that didn't happen. So if you could clear this up with Leanna and tell her this non-fact, I'd appreciate it. P.S. I get that what didn't happen left a trail of physical evidence implying that it actually did happen. But maybe you can convince her that it was basically nothing. Damn it, I'm screwed, aren't I? Oh my lord, what the heck? Commander N Nartara, Ensign Nagata. I heard reports that you haven't taken your post at the cargo bay seriously as I had hoped. While these allegations have yet to be substantiated, I have decided to be proactive and take measures to help maintain unit alertness. You will now be splitting your shift at the checkpoint with another Marine effective immediately. With these changes, I entrust that there will be no more questions about your behavior going forward. When you are not at your shift, leave your uniform and elevator key at the locker at the checkpoint. Bio originally worked for Sedonia security team before training as a UC Marine. Pedigree notwithstanding shows high marks and efficiency with assault weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. <laughs> They're up to no good in here, Andraja. They deserve to have their comm spike stolen. In my opinion. All right. Is that great expectations? Yeah. All right, buddy, come on. We gotta stop messing around. We got a job to do. I'm gonna try to get in here. Let's see. Oh, I can't, I, I didn't know I could do expert. I can't actually do expert, so it's, so I can do this. All right, this is not happening here. All right, that could happen here. This too, wait, is that the answer here? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get one of these big ones to work here. No, what about this one though? Yes. All right, now we just need a one. go. Wait, come on. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work right here. And a one. Come on, move, buddy. Couldn't get it to move backwards, really. How quickly can you get that done? <laughs> Very quickly, buddy. I just got it done. All right, let's see. Oh, look over here. Just checking around this room. Security on the station. Orders are orders. I'm here, anybody? Get in here. Ooh. I don't think this one's gonna work. Let's see. That one looks good. I need one with four, though. Shoot, I think I jumped a gun on that one, y'all. Wait, no, I didn't. We're good. I don't think this one's gonna work, huh? Yeah, right there. And then right here. Ooh, look at those credits. Y'all can keep your mono propellant. Y'all got anything else in here I might want? 
Ooh. Nice, thank you. Can't get in there. Come on, buddy. All right. Got a key card and everything. Come on, Andraja. Let's go. All right. All right, where's the intercom? I want to talk to Juan. Hey, buddy. Captain Juan Dayu. I made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comms. Music mm -mm. to my ears. <laughs> if you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. I'm hearing you. Yeah. I hacked into the database, and it seems information on the comms spike is in the archives. I'm hearing There's you, a buddy. you'll have to pass, which requires a clearance code. All right. I'll let Andraja handle this one. Checkpoints have not been a problem so far. There's little reason to think this one would be different. I like the confidence. <laughs> but remember, they tend to get harder the further you go. Hence, the clearance code. Okay. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located the comm spike. Okay, I'm hearing you. Wait, I gotta go to the engineering bay? Is that what he said? You know what they say, Marine. If you're 15 minutes early, you're still 10 minutes late. Okay, buddy. What y'all got over here? Where's the engineering bay? You sure you have clearance? Uh, yeah, buddy, I... I Need your clearance code, oh, Marine. Oh, hi, buddy. Uh... I must have gotten turned oh, around. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map. <sighs> okay, buddy. Gotta be careful around here, Andraja. Utility. Hmm. I'm just looking around. Don't mind me. Ooh. Do not mind me. I'm just looking around. Hope Tech Cap. No, thank you, buddy. Oh, I can go through the vent. Uh, I think I might. All right. Come on, Andraja. Oh my lord. Oh y'all. I got a balance up here though. Look at all those buddies, none the wiser, huh? Oh my goodness, I hope I don't fall, y'all. I'm not terribly good at this. Okay. Oh, Andraja! Oh my lord, get up here! Okay, I see another vat. Ooh, nice. Andraja! Get over here, buddy. Oh, oh lord. Andraja. Be careful. Okay, what we need is right here. Oh, oh lord. Okay, I don't know if it matters that he's seeing me right now. I think I can be up. Nice. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Projects. Project lead is Masha, Dr. Masha Penberry. Project is under supervision of both Commander Natora and Commander Akande. Oh, man, he could have just gotten me all the way through here. I guess he can't, though, because they can't know I'm infiltrating. They can't know I'm undercover. Akande's name is all over this. All right, so this is Engineer in Bay 4, Lab Number 4, Gabriel Vogel. Okay, I found it. Project lead, Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries regarding the comm spike should be rooted through him. 
all matters should be directed to Commander Natara or the highest ranking officer on the station. Level four clearance should be only accessed with Commander approval. Hearing you. Nice. Authorize and override engineer and bay four elevator clearance granted. Please report to Dr. Gabriel Vogel for further guidance. All right, I gotta get to engineering bay four, office number four. All right, let's go. Come on, buddy. All right. Open door. Okay. You lost, Ensign? Uh, no, buddy. You don't have to draw your weapon. I, I thought I heard something. Dr. Vogel has put in a oh. request for more personnel. It seems there was an accident. Oh, Lord. It's always something with that doctor. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, oh. I recommend to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately. Oh, they're looking out for suspicious behavior, y'all. Oh, Lord. Come on, Anjaja. There's nobody in here. We can take what we want. Oh, hey, buddy. Over here, buddy. Right, this is the engineer in Bay 4. Let's go. Nice. Oops, nope. I didn't mean to sit. I wanted to take those credits. All right, Andraja. Nice. Come on, buddy. Engineer in Bay 4, y'all. All right, locate the comm spike, find the intercom to speak to Juan. Okay. That's the reader. Oh, there's the intercom. All right, buddy. Die you here. Cargo's almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. Wait, but I'm your cargo. You are, and I've delivered you just as the Gato asked. Wait, you can't that leave me here. Said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. Are you- That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. Wait, what? Any part in advice? Stay clear of any Marines or try a scientist outfit. You're more likely to be a stranger if you're wearing a lab coat. Other than that, the only advice I can give you is find the uh, Dr. Vogel. Whenever I hear chatter about that project, that's the name that comes up. Okay. Find him and you'll find your target. I need a lab coat? <sighs> All right, I've made it this far. I can sneak my way off. You've made it this far without engaging in combat. I trust you'll have no issues moving further. It was okay. an honor to work with a true professional. I'm hearing but you, buddy. If you manage to get the comm spike and make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Thank you, buddy. Man, she's leaving me. She is abandoning me here. Come on, buddy. Gotta find a lab coat. Wait, what's this? Oh, wait, it's in here. Come on, buddy. Ooh, a chunk. All right, this is number one. We're looking for number four. All right, that shouldn't be too difficult. Come on, buddy. We're looking for lab number four, I think. For more test pilots? Oh, Lord. Yes, if you have experience flying. Oh, Lord, where's number four? Come on, come on, buddy. Let's just go through number two. Shoot! Wait, 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 wait. Oh my lord. Oh wait, no, no, Andraja, don't take, don't take a weapon out. Get down. All right. Oh, it's below me. Okay, wait, wait. Don't try to sniff me out. Oh my lord. We're gonna be in trouble. We don't even have a lab coat. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Don't get up, don't get up. Oh my goodness. I guess it doesn't matter that I'm detected. I've been detected and we're fine. All right, three. Hey, buddy. Four. All right. Okay, Andraja, come on. Intercepting transponder data in the harbor system might be Hey, buddy. Promising. 
according to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Ooh, let's look around his place before we talk to him. Nice. He has a research lab. He's got a box of tissues. He's working on a circuit board. Got a little notebook. Some pliers. Nice. Status. Active prototype testing, Dr. Gabriel Vogel, Engineering Bay 4, Lab Number 4. It passed the flight inspection, the hull integrity, life support functions. Nice, buddy. Updates. Ooh, okay. Steel, the S, the S, Y. Okay, well, it said steel something. The comp spike, probably. The comp spike prototype ship has been cleared for the next round of testing. Your ship has been moved to the docking bay 8 to be prepped for flight. Oh, comp spike is a ship? Per recommended precautions, access to the ship is restricted to authorized test pilots. Any pilots will be required to pass through security checkpoint to confirm their test flight number. Okay. Great, I'm hearing ya. I am hearing ya. Ooh, Can evidence. Talk to the commander? Get me reinstated? Natara's doing you a favor, Marcin. Would you prefer to court martial? Dishonorable discharge? Because all of that was on the table. I would have preferred things to remain as they were, so I made a mistake. But my work on the comp spike was and is irrelevant. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason that you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke the bear. <laughs> uh, Commander Natara being the uh, Ursi predator in this analogy. <sighs> Aaron was right. I should have never hit send. <laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Royally. But, you can protect Dr. Gong and all the king's subjects by keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey, you want my advice? On some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit, lean back, <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all of this. Oh, and stop with the sad puppy dog face, too. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. Makes you look and guilty. What kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of someone who got away with it. All right, meet and command the woods. Ooh, I'm getting in here. All right, need a three. I don't think that one, nope, that one's not gonna work. Wait, that one's not gonna work either. I think I screwed this one up. Undo. Oh wait, it's gotta, okay, wait, I didn't screw this one up. Wait, no, I did, because it's five and I need a three to fit somewhere. All right, this one fits here. This one will probably fit here somehow. No. Oh, shoot. No. Try to make this one work. Yeah, and then this one can work. There we go. All right. Yes. Yes. Somebody. Nice. And I just break it open. <laughs> it is a shame we can't just break it open, button, buddy. Oh. Just close that back up. Don't want to be in any trouble. Ooh, can I get into his computer? No. All right, excuse me, buddy. Hey, Dr. Vogel. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? I forgot the lab coat. <gasps> Shoot, uh, oh Lord, uh, are you the, 
oh, I don't want to ask him questions like that because then he's going to know I'm not supposed to be here. I'm doing a routine check of the comm spike. I need access to the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Uh, because yes. the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. I knew it's that. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. I'm hearing you. We're yes. still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. I'm hearing ya. Ooh, okay, I can go with security. Uh, decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, <laughs> but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And I'm yes, here, yeah. there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. <laughs> I'm hearing ya. I I'm a good pilot, I love adventure. Yes, it's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. <laughs> but don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems. And okay. statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to mast. Sounds wonderful, buddy. Steal the key card. Betray Juan? No, wait. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I I'm one of these new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Oh, don't be, buddy. It's not suspicious at all. Oh, well, an older request. He's going to know he didn't put in an older request for that. Classified? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, this isn't a recent request, but an older one. But if this Shit. were a duplicate request, Marcine or one of the other engineers surely would have caught it. You're... Yes. Okay. Uh, the reasons are classified, but I've been asked to personally fly the ship. I see. Okay. It would have been nice if they kept me in the loop. Exactly. I, I am the project lead, after all. I'm hearing you, buddy. Oh, Lord. The commander said that all my documents were in order. Then where are they now? And what order are they in? Backwards? Because I haven't seen anything to corroborate your story. Oh, I'm no. sorry, but I don't believe you. Now, if you don't have any further business, I have a sign I need to commission. Oh no, uh, I don't want to betray Juan. All right. Oh, onwards and uh, upwards, as they say. Oh man, betray Juan is my only thing. Wait, okay, uh, maybe I can steal from him. Nice. All right, I got the key card, y'all. So let's not press my luck. Let's go to the ship and let's get out of here with it. Makes sense too that it was a ship. Come on, come on, Andraja. Oh, it's in that room? How do I get in there? Door locked, required a key. This Test way, buddy. pilots oh. only beyond this point. Hey, buddy. Where do I get? Wait, I need to get through. I have orders. Not on my watch. Outside of Dr. Vogel, the only person to authorize additional permissions is Commander Natara. And I don't see either of them with you. Oh, Lord. Okay. Find a pilot uniform. All right. Hey, buddy. Stop right there, Ensign. There's been word Wait, of suspicious what? behavior from someone matching your description. Hey, uh... I, I think you got the wrong person. All right. Perhaps you'd like to elaborate. Sure, buddy. Uh... Oh, goodness, I could give him credits. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I hear you. All right. Critical clear. success. Just keep in mind there's been reports of a possible intruder on the premises. I'm hearing you. Okay, it's not me. It's not me. 
time. Now would be a good time to reprioritize what we bring with us and what we leave behind. I am or hearing sell. you, buddy. Or throw Or throw away. I'm hearing you, buddy. We'll see. I don't need the Eggman death assistant. I guess I could get rid of him. Alright, I need the rest of the stuff, though. Alright, we'll be yeah. okay for now. Mm -hmm. I better keep the rest of the stuff, just in case. Nice. Just in case, buddy. All right, what else do I need? Okay, I think that's all. I just need a pilot suit. Reporting for duty hey, buddy. Pilot. Yes, uh, I've got a test flight coming up. Access granted. Be sure to head to the control center and schedule the flight. And good luck. Thank you. Woohoo! I'm in, y'all. I'm in. Look at, look at her. Excuse walking me. over that sign. Hey, buddy. Ooh, I could get myself into a lot of trouble, y'all, but I didn't. I'm good. Wait, what's this nav point? What is that other nav point? Schedule a test flight. Okay. One of them schedule a test flight. The other ones just go. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm getting away with it, y'all. Woo! All right, come on, Andraja. <laughs> Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Nothing, buddy. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, that's where I am. Might as well go straight back to Creeks. Here we go. All right, let's go to the key. Cannot travel while docked. Oh, okay. Undock. Unauthorized launch from engineering. All ships, secure the prototype. Oh, Lord. We got a grab jump, y'all. Offensive maneuvers. Oh my lord, we gotta grab jump quick. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay. Woo. Here we go. Sorry buddies, I gotta go. Can't right now, Sarah, we gotta go. Oh my lord. Repair, 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 repair. <gasps> we got blown up. I failed that mission. Oh lord. I guess we should schedule a test flight, huh? So then, none the wiser, huh, buddy? All right, let's schedule a test flight, buddy. How do we? Can I leave and schedule one? All right, how was my crew on the... <laughs> my crew should have been back home. I don't know how my crew was on this ship. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I, I can't seem to get out of here to... Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna Ooh. go schedule a test Always flight. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I'm hearing you, buddy. Well, that's not our ship, buddy. Go schedule a test flight. Since they seem to want me to do that. Hey, buddy. Why you got your gun out? Lord. I think we gotta go back in the vents, buddy. Oh. It's just gonna send me back to... to Vogel. Can I try again? He ain't talking to me anymore. He's broken. I have broken him. He isn't responding. Well, shoot, y'all. He won't say anything to me. Well, I tried to schedule a test flight. I can't, because apparently I gotta schedule it with him. There's nothing I can do. Vogel is broken. It's tough not seeing any action, but it's 
Securing a station like this is a pretty... <sighs> oh well, y'all. There's rumors Commander Nataro was brought on to investigate you. I'm gonna try again. Hopefully this time I can make it out. That's too bad. Vogel's broken. I can't do anything with him. Alright. Let's see. I don't want I don't want to kill anybody. What's going on over there? Oh man, let me try again. Get up. Really don't want to fail this mission and get anybody killed, including myself. I might have to refresh and try again. I am not clear for takeoff. I am not clear, y'all. Come on, Andrija. I'm trying to get cleared. But I broke Dr. Vogel. I don't know what to do now. Why There's are the there guns on me? Personal items into the station. Really? Well, that's got nothing to do with me, okay? Hey, Dr. Vogel? I need to talk to you. Wait. His nav point's now gone. What the heck? All right, I'll try to refresh. This stinks. All right, well, we could try to persuade him again. I can't get away with anything. All right, wait. It didn't go as far back as I wanted it to, but let's just see how far back we... If, if reloaded, maybe fixed him. Let's see. Hopefully. Hey buddy, I heard you were broken. You're still broken. Hey buddy, I can't seem to talk to you. Well, that stinks. Man, my other one's all too far back. Okay, well, we could try maybe stealing more from him. He had like a password and everything. Control sent a password, let's try that. Okay, come on buddy. Now, maybe since we have the control sent a password, we can... Hey, buddy. We can schedule our own test flight. Right, we gotta get up there somehow. Hey, buddies. There's been rumors of soldiers smuggling personal items into the station. Oh, Lord. Wasn't me. I've heard the engineers say Dr. Vogel was an AI. Ooh, Dr. Vogel's an AI. No wonder he won't listen to me. All right, how do I get through that door? All right, wait. No, these are the dockings. I need to get up. All right. Hey, buddies. Commander right. Atara runs the ship. Hey, buddy. And we respect the chain of command. I'm hearing you. All right, let's authorize my flight. Comm spike. Nice. Everything looks All right. Good. That should work. Now we're gonna we're gonna get out squeaky clean, y'all. No problems. Hey, buddy. Another day, another patrol. <laughs> All right, let's go. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I know, buddy. This isn't our ship, though. Remember, we're stealing this vessel. And somehow, even though my crew is not here, they're gonna be here when I, when I take off. <laughs> Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. Nice. Get test on your departure. I have permission now. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Thanks, buddy. I will not be adhering to that flight plan. All right, y'all, let's get back to the key. I have things for you. Wait, this is now my home ship? I don't want this to be my home ship. It said this is now my home ship. All right. Woo! Wow, look at that. A whole new set of stars. I'm hearing you, buddy. 
He's had a whole new set of stars. <laughs> We've been here before, Sam. I don't know how y'all got transferred and to this ship. We are locked in. That is true, buddy. All right, here we are. Oh, Juan's here. Well, well, well. Hey. Welcome back, Rook. Thank Looks you. Like you got a new toy for me. I do. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. Okay. We'll take care of things from here. That's right. a real nice Gosh. ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Your previous ship's being brought back to the dock. Okay, thank you. Right, here we go. No, buddy. I'm going to the Nova to meet with Juan. <sighs> Although she did abandon me. I guess it's fine, because what I needed was a ship. I didn't realize I that. Radley called me hey, his buddy. friend once. It made me want to vomit. Hey, you I'm abandoned me back there. Here. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. <laughs> well... Neva vouched for me? Surprise? Yes. Neva talks tough, and frankly, she is tough. But she's not a machine. Hmm. Well, I couldn't have done it without you, even though you abandoned me. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. Yes. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that calm spike. She gave me some of Bog's grog. <laughs> oh, did Delgado clue you in on the comm spike? Yeah, and I had to feign my surprise to make sure I didn't rat you out. Thank you, buddy. But I appreciate thanks that. Thanks for trusting me with that info all the same. Mm -hmm. Us rooks have to stick together. Right. Crick's legacy is as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. <laughs> Not I really, admit, buddy. The way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Whether Crix's legacy is real or not, we have a job to do. And we will see it through. True, buddy. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go. Come on, Andraja. Got mixed feelings about my uh, job. We can drop off what we have, though. Ooh, Aurora. But on the other hand, I got regrets. Okay, I can't take that because it's contraband. All right, let's see. Drop off these suits that I got. Put my Manta suit back on. All right. I probably feel better there we go. Spend them. Come on, buddy. I do not trust the Crimson Fleet. I don't either, buddy. But Andraja, we got to do our jobs, okay? How do we get up there again? Are you Still don't know to start the ship. something? No, I'll buddy. It. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get upstairs. I keep forgetting how to get up there. Oh, there's elevators. Hey, buddies. Got you that big ship you wanted. Hey, you gonna Jasmine talk to me? Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I did. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Uh, the comm spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. I'm hearing you. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. Mm -hmm. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. I am. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Thank you. Now, on to the business at hand. Okay. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right, that okay. leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. Okay. And I think we've discovered a solution. Oh, good. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jenardyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Awesome. What's the conduction grid? It's the giant shroud that covers the entire city. Big okay. ugly thing that Jenardyne uses to absorb lightning strikes. When you arrive in Neon, I'm sure your contact will fill you in with all the boring details. I'm hearing ya. So, I'm sticking my neck out there based on a guess? 
It's all we got. Now you are part of this job, so deal with it. Huh. Besides, I've learned never to question Jasmine's talent. I'm hearing you. I have faith that Jazz can get that tech to work. You damn right she can. <laughs> My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. <laughs> really, right, buddy. Let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. Okay. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse <laughs> of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. I'm Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. I'm hearing ya. All right. <laughs> I trust you aren't implying anything with that comment? You'll find I rarely imply things. In fact, I take pleasure in declaring my words straight to your goddamn face. <laughs> Here is an example. I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Okay. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. We have dealt with more than a few <laughs> of your captains. This one should be no problem. Where is you she? Right by one. But she's almost as green as you two. Estelle is different. Okay. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'm hearing ya. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind girl loves her liquor. <laughs> and keep your eyes on the prize. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy, and we cannot afford any screw-ups. I'm hearing ya. All right. Do I have to talk to y'all again? No? All right. Lord, y'all. Can I fast travel from here? I hope so. All right. Where's the Vigilance? Wait, the Vigilance is out here? Unexplored route? Well, let's go to Bernard's Star then instead. I have something for you when you have a moment. I'm hearing you, buddy. All right, jump. I feel like the Vigilance keeps moving. <laughs> is it just that I keep forgetting where it's stationed? Because I feel like it's moving to different oh, locations. I never get tired of that. All right. Here's the vigilance. All right, let's open up. Doc. Oh, and I should visit my friends down at the hold, and you know? We're docked. They said that they would continuously put people down there as I brought in new evidence. I'll talk to a Conde. My family's all in the UC Navy, but being sistive, I'm mm -hmm. bragging rights. <laughs> I'm hearing you, buddy. He's got bragging rights, y'all. Hey. Hey, buddy. Word is you had to steal classified tech from a UC station. I hope the commander knows what he's doing. Yes. Me too, buddy. Anything new hey. to report? You have permission to speak freely. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. I did. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Very true, buddy. Infiltrating that station without getting caught was really tricky. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. I did. That's exactly what we're looking for in a sysdev operative. Then you were most fortunate you coerced us into helping you. <laughs> Not some half-mad spacer. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but... There's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short and we should get to the matter at hand. Yes. Please give me your report. Okay. Uh, Delgado has Jasmine Duran working on the comm spike. Oh, wait, but what do you mean by time is short? With the acquisition of the comm spike, the fleet is one step closer to Crix's legacy. Right. And the more people we arrest, the greater the chance that your infiltration is discovered. Right, We're so... working against the clock here, so let's start by discussing the status of the comm spike. I'm, I'm hearing you. Well, Delgado has Jasmine Duran working on the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Ooh, yes, buddy, he has. He believes that Garadine's construction grid in Neon is the key. The conduction grid? 
Yeah. That's brilliant. But is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. Which is really cool. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. Oh, good. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. I'm hearing ya. Hmm. What embarrassing mistake? The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Oh. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and Mast will authorize an all-out assault. Oh, wow. Oh, an all-out assault? Uh, aren't you concerned that the fleet is getting close to Crix's legacy? Of course I am. But it's a calculated risk. Okay. Uh, I am pleased they're finally taking you seriously. It's long overdue. Hmm. All right. I suppose that's all for now. Okay. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Sure thing, buddy. And please, be careful. Thanks, buddy. Woo! The best there is. Hey, buddy, I have some evidence for you. What can I do for you? Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Did you have to chase that fleet ship okay. through that asteroid belt? <laughs> Yes, sir. Protocol says we prioritize the mission. Providing this evidence... Oh. At some point, the risk isn't worth catching a few criminals. The oh, evidence right. that Juan de you should put... To show a little more concern for your personal oh, safety. Lord. This evidence about Juan de you should put her away for a long time. Finally. We've been tracking the Jade Swan for almost a year, but Captain Dayu somehow remained one step ahead. Every time we've scanned that ship, it's come up empty. Well, she's not going to skate away this time. Oh, Lord. Nice work. Any other fragments? Yeah. That's too bad about Juan, though. I like her. This recording about comm spike shows that the UC's got some internal issues going on. Cost overruns, siphoning mm -hmm. project funds. How deep does this well go? Our forensic accounting team is going to have their hands full. I'll send this to Mass right away. Let's just hope that a few rotten apples within the UC haven't spoiled the entire bunch. I'm that hearing you. Oh, no, I got more. Got this hot tip that someone in the fleet is hoarding a shipment of stolen chunks. A hot tip, huh? What kind of idiot would dig in their heels waiting for a massive payout on some of the cheapest food in the settled system? <laughs> I've seen some strange things on this assignment, but this definitely tops the list. I'll, uh, pass it on to my superiors. <laughs> I'm sure they'll get right on it. That it? Nope. You might want to raise an alarm at Hope Talk. The fleet's planning a raid on Hope Town? Okay. I didn't expect them to be so bold, but I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. Right, buddy. Don't worry. I'll circulate the description of this captain to the authorities on Hope Town and make sure they never set foot in that settlement. According awesome. to my superiors at Mast, we've provided them enough data to wrap up this portion of the operation and call it a success. Oh, good. You've brought us a mountain of evidence against the Crimson Fleet and uncovered some unexpected criminal activity. You've done a hell of a job. Thanks, buddy. Did we really make a difference? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. The brig is filled with prisoners waiting for trial. Ooh. We've drained the Crimson Fleet's credits and solved a few mysteries along the way. I'd say that qualifies as making a difference. It was the right thing to do. Oh, well, I see we've rubbed up on you more than I expected. <laughs> anyway, here, I wanted to give you this. It isn't from Commander Akande or the UC. It's from me. Oh, thank you. It was you. my sidearm when I ran with the Crimson Fleet. Oh. Something special I paid a hell of a lot of money for. Now it's yours. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <clears throat> All right, enough of this mushy nonsense. <laughs> Time to get back to work. I'm hearing ya. Thank you so much. It's legendary Memento Mori. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, I want to get down to the brig and see all of the prisoners. 
I'm not worried about the fleet taking the comms by. I wonder if uh like they have the Juan's down use. there. Most of our operations team graduated top of the I don't know if they could have arrested her that quickly though. Hey buddies. I wouldn't want to be there at mass when the commander has to explain taking They're gonna be so mad at me, y'all. I haven't been down to the brig in a while. I don't remember where it is quite. Mole. Uh excuse me, buddy? What is his problem with me? All right, here we are. Sir, if I may speak freely, is there a reason for the harsh reprimand? As I know, I just tracked in some mud. He just tracked in some mud, y'all. Wait, it's only him. Hey, Austin Rake. How are you doing, buddy? I don't see anybody else down here. I guess I could talk to Austin again. Excuse me. Hey, buddies. There's nobody up here. All because they didn't take the time to properly dry them. These cells are huge, though. Why are these dark? Some of them are lit up and some of them are dark. Alright. You're the only one here, buddy. Nobody else is in here. By what are you pointing at? The security of this break. What are you shooting at, buddy? Cleanliness is a duty. All right, Austin. Well, you're the only one to talk to. Come over here. Back to gawk at the creatures in the cages. It's just you. <laughs> Be careful around the fleet. They talk about family, but it's just a bunch of crap. Yeah. Well, uh, you're the only creature in here. Nobody else is here. Come by to see the animals at the Hey, zoo. buddy. There's only one. Austin. Welcome to the brig. As a member of SysDef, you may talk with the prisoners as long as you are mindful of operation security. I'm hearing you. There's only as one a prisoner. personal rule, I simply ask that you adhere to UC Navy standards of cleanliness at all times. That means no mud on your boots, your hands are washed, and you are free of any contagious diseases. I'm pretty sure I don't have contagious diseases, buddy. <laughs> oh, sorry to tell you, but I'm kind of a slob. I trust your commander Ikande's undercover mole. Yeah. I understand the lack of hygiene is part of the cover. So, lucky for you, you're an exception to my usual rule. But try not to abuse the privilege. I'm hearing you, buddy. Were there any problems securing Austin Rake? No. The prisoner surrendered willingly, as per the terms of your deal. Oh, good. This is probably the safest place for him, if the fleet want him dead. You can chat Here with him, yeah. if you haven't already. I'm sure he has a lot to say. He did. I have a favor to ask. Okay. I understand that part of your undercover work involves going to the fleet headquarters, namely the key. It does. While you're there, if you find anything pertaining to the history of the fleet, I'd be interested in learning about it. I'm hearing ya. I'll keep an eye out for ya. I appreciate it. I've actually heard rumors about there being audio logs for an interview the, yes. the founder of the fleet, Jasper Crix, did on the key. I have those. I'm interested in anything he had to say regarding his time in prison and how the prisoners were treated. If you find anything like that, bring it back here and we'll take a listen. Absolutely, buddy. Why the fascination with the fleet's history? The fleet and the UC are intertwined. And I've always felt knowing that past as an important part of what we do. In life, history can be a guide, mm -hmm. a warning, or at times, a reflection. And if you want to know which one it is, you have to stare it in the face, regardless of how ugly it is. I'm hearing ya. How do you handle the treatment of prisoners? That's a loaded question. We err on the side of caution here short of any physical abuse. I'm hearing ya. But with the Crimson Fleet, you have to be very careful. If you give them an inch, they'll take a parsec and find a way to stab you with it. Right. Do the gods get into it with the prisoners? Verbally, yes. There's a lot of bad blood with the fleet stretching mm -hmm. across generations, myself included. Sometimes that blood spills over. As long as there's no actual fighting, I tend to let both sides dish it out. I'm hearing you, buddy. Security aside, we should try to keep things as humane as possible. Yes, 
although it's always a balance. Yes. In the end of the day, these are ruthless pirates, <laughs> and they will take advantage of any weakness you show. That is true. But I'll be the first to admit it's not an exact science, and we've made mistakes in the past with both the carrot and the stick. Oh, Lord. As I'm chief you. officer of this brig, my worst fear is that we'll someday repeat them. What sorts of prisoners end up in the brig? The cells you see here are for captured pirates and prisoners of war. I'm here. If you yeah. apprehend any pirates during the course of your missions, they'll be detained here. Well, I guess I haven't apprehended anybody, but I have given a lot of evidence and it seems to have gone to waste. What if the prisoners tried to escape? What kind of defenses do we have? We have multiple turrets attached to the ceiling. Oh, if wow. If you've met Ensign Betty, she's personally calibrated them to ensure they cover the entire area. Oh, wow, buddy. That being said, firing the turrets should be considered a last resort. Yeah. Y'all could get hurt, too, if y'all fire the turrets. What are your thoughts on Commander Akande? He's a good man, singularly focused when it comes to the fleet. But that's not to say he doesn't care about his crew. That's true, I can buddy. tell you a story as an example if you'd like to hear it. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, first I want to know if he visits the brig often. Usually only when he has business here. Okay. But pretty much everyone passes by the brig on their way to other parts of the ship. Mm -hmm. Given he sees barely a glance of me most days, you'd think he wasn't paying attention. Hence the story, if you've got time. Of course I've got the time. Go ahead, buddy. So, I'm a bit of a workaholic, and I forget to take breaks. One day, Commander Ikande passes by the brig and sees me at my desk. He takes one look at my haggard face and says, Officer, I'm headed to the mess hall. If you're not with me in 15 minutes, your services will no longer be required on my ship. I tried to protest, but he was dead serious. So I went. We had lunch, talked about old times, Aww. and I went back to the brig refreshed and ready to work. It's little things like that. Mm -hmm. You can see he pays attention and that he cares about the people, not just the work. That's good. I'm glad he's not just obsessed with the fleet. I've been to Suvaro as part of my undercover work. Really? Mm -hmm. I know you were headed to the key, but I didn't realize you'd actually get a chance to visit the lock. I did. I almost respect the fleet for doing that. They're trying to pass down their history, or their version of it anyway. Right. <laughs> I would often use that, but I don't like that. You respect the fact that they take new recruits to the lock? I respect the principle of teaching one's history. It makes me think Delgado wants the fleet to be more than just space pirates. When you connect the past with the future, you're trying to create a culture, a through line between you and Jasper Cricks. I'm hearing you, buddy. You seem almost excited that I went down there. Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be unprofessional. Oh, no, buddy. It's just rare to talk to someone who got to witness that history up close. I'm hearing but you. All that aside, give me your honest opinion. What were the conditions like? Not good. Brutal. With how they were treated, it's, it's really no wonder the inmates revolted. I was afraid of that. <sighs> yeah. I think I'm starting to fully realize the hand we played in all this. Truth be told, my ancestor was a guard on Suvorov. Part of the reason I joined Sysdef was to find out more about his experience. Oh. And whether the history books told the whole story. I'm hearing Which you. is why I'd like to hear Crick's side of it. If just to confirm what you saw. I'm hearing you, buddy. You're dismissed. Okay. All right, come on, Andraja. I thought we had stuff for him. We did have recorded conversations and stuff that we could have given him, but it wouldn't allow it. Well, that sucks that Austin's the only one here. I thought there'd be more prisoners down here, but I guess not. Oh, and they have an interrogation room. Is anybody in there? Inaccessible. Look at him just smiling at us. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.